Hi there, this is going to be a general love reading for the sign of Leo. Hello, Leos, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus signs, as well as the cross watcher of the Leo. This is for, well, actually, these are bonus readings, okay, that we are going to be doing. And the extended, should you wish to rent it, will contain these sexual tarot magic deck cards. If you love erotic tarot readings, then you definitely want to rent it. Click on that upside down triangle below. It's going to bring up the description page here on YouTube. And all of my info is there. That very first link on that page will take you to my website, saltwaterheelstarot.com and Zodiac Intimate Extended. There's a section where your extended will be in, okay, on my website. Also, my Patreon link is in that description box below if you love erotic tarot readings. I also do some bonus ones there as well, so follow me on Patreon. Keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type and expectation. This is the thing, Leo. I'm feeling like you're normally the one that may be a little bit more extroverted. Now, that's not for everybody, but for the Leos I'm talking to, you might be a little more extroverted or, for example, no, this is for the Leos because Leos are the star. You know what I'm saying? They're, they're, the, they're the, always like to be at the, in the spotlight kind of a vibe, right? So there's a feeling here of you tend to like the opposite of that, but instead it's it's the opposite of what you normally like. Let me just get straight to the fucking point. Keep an open mind means nah, it's not your usual type. So if you usually like very extroverted, they're introverted. If you like introverted, they're very extroverted. They're the opposite of what you usually gravitate towards. Now, this could be that they say it about you. You're not my usual type. I usually like older. I usually like someone who's quieter, someone who's more loud, more extroverted. It's just different. It's not your usual type. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Someone here is getting out of something. Whether that be a relationship or whether that be a job or some type of a committed thing, right? Job, situation, or relationship. They're getting themselves out of something. No, they don't feel confined anymore. Someone here may have felt trapped. Yeah, past life relationship, you have known each other before. So this is definitely going to be the stranger you recognize. There's something about freedom here with love. They let you just be you. They, if you're wild, they let you be wild. They don't try to change you. They just accept you as you are, which for some of you, it's shocking because for some of you, that's not usually the kind of relationships you're in. The tower, dun, dun, dun. So it's going to be extremely sudden and unexpected. This can also be a sudden unexpected ending such as divorce or breakup. The tower is divine intervention, so this means that the universe intervened. The Hierophant Taurus energy, so this was definitely a breakup of some type of commitment. We talked about that here, whether it's a commitment to a job or commitment to a relationship. The Hierophant committed, right? Two of Cups. Commitment. There's a breakup or shakeup in a committed thing causes someone to now be free now they can gravitate towards what is actually for them. Whether this is a new job, new career opportunity, or love. There is going to be this recognition between the two Five of Cups. So there is a bit of sadness and regret here. Someone may have lost something recently. This may have been lost, uh, uh, like a loss when it came to someone like actually, actually passed away too. Could be a physical loss. Someone here may not have gotten over the loss of a person. 
Now, whether this is because it's a breakup, right? Or whether this is because someone actually passed away and died. There's this thing about still being really sad and mourning something. Page of Pentacles. Could be a younger earth sign. That Page of Pentacles can also be someone offering something. It's an offer. Uh-huh. Gee, I wonder, an offer of what? An offer of love. Look at that. Ace of fucking cups. Love. And it may be unexpected, right? It may fly in, it comes out of nowhere, it comes out of left field with the Knight of Wands. You don't expect it. It's shocking, it's sudden. Um, it could be when you least expect it in the way of, cause you're not, you're at the grocery store. And, and I mean, who wants to fucking go and hook up at the grocery store? Usually we're running in with sweats on, you know, we're running in really quick last minute. You know, most of us, we do, we do fucking Instacart, you know, we don't even want to go to the grocery store ourselves. So imagine when we do go to the grocery store, last thing we expected is to fucking see somebody we know, let alone someone we're going to marry. So it could be just really unexpected. It's the timing of it. It's the person. It's the whole, oh. But there's something very deja vu -y. Oh, you heard that? My oven's ready. I'm going to be... I don't eat meat, and of course I'm having issues eating, but I'm going to be making for my child. Her dinner is going to be Parmesan crusted chicken tenders. You know, with the chicken breasts. And you do it with breadcrumbs, Parmesan cheese, and other herbs and spices. And you bake it. Why am I telling you this? I don't know. Maybe some of you need to know that. Wow. Main male and you have marriage. You know what I heard? I heard out with the old, in with the new. So for some, they may have already been in a connection or a relationship. Out with the old, in with the new. It will literally be the stranger you recognize. You, It might be even when you lock eyes. There could be something about the eyes. But again, I have to go back to there's a deja vu feeling. For some of you, that might be exactly how it feels. Not only is it going to be like, I, I think I know this person. I think it's like, I think it's someone I've met before. But you know you didn't, right? So it's that past lifey feeling. But it could very well be the fact of like, I have deja vu with them. It's weird. I feel like I've, I've done this before. Hand of cards, taking a chance or a risk. So for whatever reason, this is going to be someone here who steps outside of their comfort zone. The phoenix. Feels like someone could have an actual phoenix tattoo. But the phoenix is quite symbolic of a new phase, right? It's a transformation. It's somebody, it's rebirth. It's rising from the ashes. And then you have self-indulgence, focusing on self and self-worth. You have shadow work here. You have girl talk too, spending time with friends, moving on and being happily single. And then Cupid comes, look, Cupid's arrow. Have faith, love is coming. Surprise invitation or meeting. That's what I fucking said. <sighs> That's what I said. It's going to be a surprise. A message. Some of you are receiving a message. Oh, it could be from a wealthy man. Look at that. Wealthy man comes up constantly. This could be king of pentacles. Some of you, this could be a boss figure, a father figure. Doesn't always have to be romantic. Could be both romance and career and business but for some of you it could just be a business thing you receive a message saying hey you got the job hey i want to invest hey i'd like to hire you right there's a lot of energy about rising up from the ashes so for some of you there may have been a really big dry spell look at how fast that came out look at romance fucking romance of a lifetime and a year from now maybe some of you it was a year you were single a year before you decided to get back out there. For some of you, this year has something else to do with it, right? 365 days. Um, this can also be four seasons, right? There's something about that energy where it's going to tie into this somehow. A year, 365, four seasons. They just keep saying it over and over and over and over again. All right, before we go, I'd like to do some Ascended Masters for you guys. And then again, we're going to roll into your Extended. To rent it, click on that upside down triangle below this video. 
the description page is there. Remember now, if you want to book a reading with me, you have to email me, saltwaterhillstarot at gmail.com. You must put in your email which reading you want so I know what to invoice you. I only invoice via PayPal. All of my information is below. The pricing, what I offer, what they're called. They're all 30 minutes, okay? But when you email, please tell me if you want the $200 emergency reading. Do you want the $160 regular call? Do you want the FaceTime call, right? I gotta know what to invoice you. Um, also, I do not ever message you via face, uh, Facebook, um, Instagram, DM, solicit you, hey, you want a reading? Those are frauds, okay? Don't get duped, okay? I would never reach out to you like that. You have Sanat Kumara, light activation. Shine your light. Your internal guidance is coming through loud and clear. This person could have really, really light, clear blue eyes. They might have, you see how the eyes are really striking? And I felt that earlier that it's something with the eyes where they look at you. You have Gaia, Earth connection. Be mindful of the planet. Come back to Earth. Stay grounded. Beautiful freaking energy. Oh, I'm the bottom of the deck, Mary Magdalene. <gasps> with Master Jesus. Oh my God, twin flames. Mary Magdalene is teacher awakens. You have something important to share. Follow the inner call. Don't let anything stop you. And master Jesus is forgiveness. You are on the path of light, love, and forgiveness. Father healing is possible at this time. My God, look at that, you guys. All right, let's get into your extended. Thank you for your likes, your shares, and your subscriptions here on YouTube. And yeah, don't forget to follow me on Patreon if you guys love erotic tower readings, okay, you guys? All right, see you in your extended. Love you.